What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and dude, we're kind of killing it with videos, babe. Yeah. We are absolutely slaying the game. Third video in like two weeks. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. You guys saw we did the wheels. We did the suspension on the Evo 10. We picked up the new STI, which I'm so stoked on. So many plans for that. I can't wait to show you guys everything wrong with it and everything I'm gonna fix. I actually surprised Grace with something for her Evo 10 and I'm really excited to install it. She's been wanting them for forever. Yeah. And I guess we should just show them, right? Yeah. Oh, and I also wanted to wish her a very happy 27th birthday. So you guys should comment happy <laughs> birthday, Grace, because Get she's old. the big 27 <laughs> and she's beautiful and healthy. And Thanks. we're going to transform her Evo into the prettiest car in the world. These are the stock headlights on her Evo 10. Very, very foggy, crusty. And yeah, I could restore them when I got her these. <gasps> so baby, you got to show them. What are these? These are van, V-Land. They're van. <laughs> they're they're van headlights. Boom! Aren't so it's kind of hard to tell because we have the protective wrapping on them, but they're blacked out housing V-Land headlights and they're gonna be I literally sick. am so excited to see how they look. Okay, so, so hold hold it up just in comparison, just to get like, oh dude. Oh, it's gonna It's gonna so transform good. this car. I'm oh, I'm so, so excited. excited. And so, for you guys at home, you might say, okay, I want V-Lands. If you guys order the V-Land headlights, they don't come with the bulbs. And if you want the bulbs to match this strip right here, like the Audi style strip, which makes v so cool, you have to get a ballast in order to run HIDs. So that's what this is right here. This is also from V-Land. I probably could have sourced it cheaper. Figured V-Land headlights, V-Land ballast and bulbs. So in here we have the bulbs and the palace, which we will figure out how to wire up with this. First, we need to take the front bumper off in order to get to the bottom headlight bracket. So I'm pretty sure it won't be that difficult, but there's gonna be a lot of pop clips and a lot of screws. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to remove the front bumper without damaging it. And then we can take the crusty boys off and put the new oh, non crusty so boys on. Are you oh, soaked? They're gonna be so You're pretty. gonna have probably I'm the so coolest excited. car. Like when you roll up to your job, people are gonna be like, dang. Dang, whose car is that? I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you. Let's get it done. Oh, and then don't forget the Yoshi. Do you have a name for the car? No, not yet. I just asked Adam what he named his STI and I realized that I haven't named her. So now that she's getting more and more personality, I feel like it's gonna come to me. Okay, we'll you keep know? you guys posted. I'm gonna jack this thing up and get the front bumper off. So real quick, I'm gonna give you guys a brief overview of everything you're gonna need to remove the front bumper off. We have this piece of plastic right here, which just covers everything below. We have one pop clip right there, another pop clip right here on the left side, then we have one right over here, and then this should pop off, and then we can access the four 10 mils that are holding the front bumper on right there. Okay, so I also forgot about these two clips which sit right here holding uh, the air intake down. These are a pain to get off. I had to use my pry tool and I just sat there, kind of wiggled them to get room and then I just had to yank on them. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys will be able to tell. I do still have the under tray on this Evo. This Evo is just stupid clean. These are the bolts I was talking about. So there's one right there, one over to the left. So there's six of them across and they're like right up here at the front, right past the front lip. Okay, so I said this thing was stupid clean. Looks like we don't even have any of the pop clips. We just have some zip ties. Gonna have to zip tie that part back up. All right, boys, so we got all of the clips unattached on this one. I don't think I had to drop it all the way, but I did, so well. And then I ended up getting these ones undone too. Broke a few clips, but that is okay. So the last spot we need to remove for this to come off is there are two 10 mils here. I don't know if you guys can see that back there. Yeah, so there's one 10 mil on that side and then there's one on the left side as well. So we need to get those two and then over here in the fender liners, these ones are kind of annoying, but there's one screw right here. And then there's three more little pop clips that should come out hopefully easily. And then the front bumper can pull right off. It's almost there. When you're taking the front bumper off, you gotta be really careful over here on this side um, because this side of the bumper connects into this little bracket right here and these tabs can be semi-fragile because they just insert in there. So I kind of stuck my hand behind it and kind of just like popped it out and that should make it so it doesn't break. There's also two clips you can see right in here. 
these little white clips those go into the bottom of your headlights so those have to pop out as well they're both out so the bumpers should start to slide off maybe what's holding you oh i missed a 10. i missed one okay now the front bumper will be up boom look at that front bumper She's is off. removed and now we can start removing the headlights all right gracie fit wants to do some wrenching is this the right yeah. yeah i like your thing here we go boom done boom baby let's go i don't know <laughs> with this i'm like the worst how-to person ever but i'm trying to explain because i honestly feel pretty confident in doing this i took my little tool that we got from oo o'reilly's auto parts this bracket right here is a little fragile and you don't want to break it so i think this should work i'm gonna just get under and try and like pry it up and over there we go. go boom boom baby it's like i'm a professional dog i thought i was gonna break to be honest with you wait there might be another one down here dang little squirt oh this one right here i found it winner winner chicken dinner baby oh i just cannot believe how ugly those are yeah oh the stock ones are they are grimy. Watch that be the wrong one. It's like, hell well. You thought, you thought, dude? You thought you were gonna get me out, brother? <laughs> Think again, brother? Oh, dude, Bob. Now, I'm so bad at this stuff. Okay. So now we just gotta unplug these two connectors. Here we go. Oh. Okay, I'll rest it right there. Oh my God. Yeah, that's gonna look so Oh, sick. wow. Oh yeah. Gosh, I literally just want to lay him. Wow. All right. Look at so the difference. yeah, I know. I mean, we'll give you guys the full effect here in a bit, but yeah, the stock ones are so bad. Okay, so we're gonna get this one out. We're gonna not film this because we struggled a lot with that one. We will wire these up. They're honestly not that bad to wire. I didn't show you guys, but this actually comes in the box. Now, this actually has to plug into your fuse box. So I ended up putting it right there. There's an empty slot, so it should be fine right there. And the short side goes in to your driver's side headlights since that's where the fuse box is. Then there's another one on that side. So that's all that comes with the kit. And then now we're gonna go ahead and set up the ballast. We'll figure out where to put the ballast on here and then we can go ahead put the hids in and it should be ready to go baby i'm so I'm, excited i'm stoked it's gonna I be feel. sick okay so a little hiccup that i thought i'd show you guys just in case because you guys might have the same issue so these are the ballast for the hids and they're supposed to sit in this little cubby but as you can see nothing lines up like we can't put zip ties in because the holes don't line up and Obviously we can't put any screws in there either. So we're gonna go ahead and put this 3M on the bottom side and then it should stay just fine because that's honestly the only option we have. So hopefully this holds it. If not, we'll hear something banging around and we'll know that we gotta take them back off and fix it. But this should do the trick. So I honestly think we have this all figured out. This is part of the VLAN kit right here. So now with these two little pins, these are what are going to insert into the headlight. Now this blue wire will be the red one and then black on black. Grace is gonna go ahead and take the outer part off of her HID. We'll be very, very careful. Sweet. I think that's in. Oh, cause these have to go through this. Yes. So we do need to dremel this out. These are the outer piece that like seals the headlight. Now this stuff has to poke through and in every other video I saw this was a problem. There's not enough room for these wires to go through. So I'm gonna use a metal file and try and sand down the inner part of this. So if you have a drill bit, honestly, I just held it and like dug into one side and I eventually got it through. That gave us just enough clearance. Got everything through, now black to black and red to blue, all wired up. I know, see, it's tricky to get it in there. You're not wrong. Oh, that frustrated me, but Grace is a beast. We didn't film it, but we did get the headlight on. So now we're gonna do the reveal. We haven't like put the screws on. Oh. Oh my, my gosh. God. That looks so sick. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. All right, so it. honestly, it wasn't that bad to wire. It's pretty simple. It's just like pretty much plug and play. It's just annoying to get good. I'm gonna do the same thing on this. I'm just gonna take the drill bit and drill into this and try and get enough room for the cord to go through. And then honestly, we should be pretty much done with the install of the headlights. Then we can flip it on and we can see how this thing looks. It's honestly gonna look so killer. Baby, you did so good on this. Thank you. Dude. Sometimes I'm good at things. This is gonna look fire. Might as well test it. Oh, it I'm filming? so excited. Yeah. Oh God. Did one light up? Uh, for a split second, yeah. Oh, wow. Is it on? 
Yeah, come here. The like deep part isn't, but the like. No, sweet. I know. I don't have your headlights on yet. Yeah, it's beautiful. Woo! It's beautiful. That is sick. All right, hold on. Oh my hold god. On. This is the test. Anything? No, it's flickering. Oh no. Uh -oh, oh, what does that no. mean? It's just not gonna work. Took a little break. Honestly, I was getting super frustrated. Did like two hours of research. I was at the gym, I was like Googling which headlights these came with. I wasn't sure if they were HIDs or non-HIDs these from the factory and turns out they are HID so I came home I plugged everything in I started the car up and I'm pretty sure they're gonna work I have everything hooked up I have both headlights installed I just need to put you know the hardware in to secure them and then I'm gonna wait for Gracie to get home and we're gonna get her reaction hopefully I can have the front bumper back on and secure so she gets like you know the full shebang and then hopefully we're good so i'm going to keep you guys posted i'm going to go ahead and put the hardware back in the headlights and i will show you guys when the front bumper is back on installed it should look pretty sweet so i'm so excited to see grace's reaction i think she's gonna freaking love it dude turns out i'm just an idiot should have started the car and they would have worked just fine and these did come with the hids because i had the ballast on those and then on fuse number 13 they said if you do have a fuse in there that means you have daytime running lights and i have the little toggle for the headlights to go up and down so that means these were hids are you ready yeah i'm yeah. so excited we're gonna have to start her up holy sh they're so pretty oh my god so hard to see. Wow. See how they flickered before I started it up? Yeah, I guess we should have tried starting it. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god. Look at how sick that is. It literally is so mean. Like, oh, oh they're so pretty. <laughs> Yay, uh, you love it? I love it. Yeah, she looks so mean. Oh, that looks so sick. Oh, I love it. All right. Isn't that sick? And then they just shut off. Boom. Man, those look good. What a They're good investment. Seriously gorgeous. That I'm is so, so sick. You're so welcome, boo. I'm obsessed. I love it. Your Evo is pretty much dialed. And now I get to start in on this one. This is the next project. Alright guys, well we're absolutely killing it with videos. Like we're doing so good, babe. Doing the thing. Three videos in a row and a ton more planned and coming. So that is the VLAN install. I'm super excited how they turned out. It makes the car just look so much better, so much cleaner. Honestly, not a bad $400 spend. So let me know if you guys want to see any other videos on the Evo 10. Let Grace know what you want to see. We are planning a few more things. Nothing crazy. We are going to do an exhaust soon, so that's going to be really fun. Sorry, I'm I was, excited. I was cutting you out of the frame. <laughs> that's okay. I have huge plans for my STI, and then I'm going to get my Evo reliable again. So All many projects. We have so many project cars. It's honestly the coolest thing in the world. Doing it. Like we're doing it, you know? I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and Gracie and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.